Today I'm going to be explaining the difference between a foxtrot and a trot and uh, how they're different between a pace uh, and a stepping pace and show you how to tell if your horse is doing any of those. Here I'm going to show you what a pace is. Watch the two legs on the left side with the blue boots. See how they've swing together forward at the same time and they land almost exactly at the same time. A true pace would land exactly the same time. This is a pace. Again, watch the two legs on the one side. This is a stepping pace. If you watch the blue boots, you'll see that the back foot lands just before the front. This makes it a little smoother to ride, but it's still not perfectly even as they still move together uh, very similarly. There should be a little more time between the back foot landing and the front foot landing to make it a good gait. This is a trot. Again, you're going to watch the diagonal legs. You're going to watch the front right and the back left. So again, watch those two. See how they swing together, land at the same time. This is a quarter horse trotting, by the way. Uh, this is what a trot looks like, just for comparison when we show the fox. As before, we're going to watch the diagonal legs. You're going to watch the front right and the back left. You're going to see how they move almost together, but the front foot lands just before the back. This is a fox trot, or what's known as a broken trot. Very close to a trot, but the two legs don't hit the ground together at the same time. Uh, same thing, we're going to watch just another shot. This horse is a Rocky Mountain mare, and she's doing more of a fox trot. Again, watch the diagonals move together. They land almost at the same time, but the front foot lands just before the back of the diagonal. Again, we're watching the front right and the back left. Let's watch some of that again. Here we see it in slow motion, front right, back left, landing almost together, but the front landing just before the hind. This is a little fox trotter mare. Here she's doing a fox trot as well, and I'm going to show some different shots of her and how she gets better and smoother uh, doing the fox trot. Okay, here we've got some slow motion. Again, watch the front right, back left. See how when she goes forward, the front lands just before the back. All right, the reason we want more space between when the, f the front lands and the back lands is because the more even that timing is, the smoother it'll be. When they land almost together, that's when you get a bumpy gait. Here you can see, uh, as we're watching the front left and back right, that there are the front lands and then the right lands. And here where she really starts getting a good rhythm, when there's more timing between the front lands there and the back lands there. That's what we're looking for. Here she's not much faster than a walk, but we can develop this. The more we do it this way, the better it'll be as we go faster. You always want to start slower and then work up once they start to understand. Here I want to show you, here she's, uh, she gets to where it's nearly a trot. There you see how both legs land almost together. There, there, and then she starts breaking it up again and getting a lot smoother where the, there's more timing there, how the front left lands, and then there's a little bit of timing in the back right lands. This is what you're looking for. This is what you want to start watching for. Let's watch it in regular speed. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you understand the fox trot a little more. Remember that it's just a broken trot, basically the front landing before the hind, uh, and we just want to work at getting that smoother. If this video helped you, make sure you go to my website and sign up for my free email list. Very soon we'll be doing a video on how to get your fox trotter to have a smoother gait.